Hello, my name is Sergey Lebedev, and I would like to introduce you my recent book. This book, called A Present Past, was born a year ago. It surprised me. I was asked to write a short story for an anthology, and I had never written short stories before. The smaller form didn't work for me, the narrative always fell apart. But suddenly, instead of just one story, eleven appeared. They wrote themselves as if they had already existed and were just waiting for me to open the door. What are they about? Berlin, where I now live, is the city that is obsessed with the past, with discovering and maintaining memory. And it has a special, irregular layer of that past, with its own rules and actual power over everyday life. You start your day here, you have plans, you reach the station platform, and all of a sudden there is an announcement that trains aren't running. And the trains aren't running because somewhere they discovered a bomb while doing repairs on construction. An old bomb from World War II. And the city waits until demolition specialists dismantle it. This doesn't happen often, but it's not rare. The mind, explosive past comes to the surface, bursting into the present. Basically, that's what the stories are about. The minefield of the past in which we are forced to live, on which we walk. I remember how in the late 80s and early 90s in Russia, there was a spate of dark urban folklore about bad apartments and houses, evil places, ghosts and spirits haunting old residences. I think that the collective guilty conscience was speaking out loud in the voices of these legends, the bloody history of Russia 20th century, scratching in iron claws under the bench. These chronicles follow the general ghost stories, creating a field of united mystical topographies, in which the unquiet past, the evil legacy of totalitarian regimes, is always there, behind a thin line, and tries to give evidence in the voices of objects, places, animals, and people crying out for retribution and justice. Thank you.